Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? So, I decided to go into the free play mode, as I said previously, in our, well, at the end of our last episode. Just so, I mean, we got all these different areas here, this is actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, just so that I can uh, show you a few of the extra machines and what we can really do with this game. I've quickly set up a very quick line. Um, the free play mode gives us everything. We don't have any competition to worry about, we've got nothing like that. Our research is all unlocked. Uh, well, all the machines are unlocked. Everything is up here. We've got the cryogenic condenser. We've got all these extra packaging. Um, sachet makers, syringe injectors. Uh, what else we got? We've got the centrifuge, which you never actually used. We've got the creamer, drug packer, so we can have a look at that one. Packs it all into boxes, um, which means that you need fewer exit points. You can combine lines together. Um, ultraviolet cure and chromatograph. And then we got these two, the atomic sequencer and the hadron collider. Now these look really cool. The atomic sequencer allows you to directly specify the concentration within a set of fixed values. So basically you choose what concentration you want it to come out at. And the hadron collider, that's even better, collides drugs it, the collided drugs act as though they are set at all concentrations simultaneously. All effects are active and the concentration component of all reactions are satisfied. That basically means it does everything all at once, which is actually pretty cool. Um, well, I suppose it is and it isn't. It does mean that you kind of need to get rid of your side effects and that. We've got all the ingredients, the cures available. So what I've done is I've just imported some irritin crystal. Uh, for treating diabetes, we need to reduce it by 6 points, which I have done with this one. That's uh, reduced by 3, this is reduced by another 3, and then I've put it through a syringe injector. Uh, 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 yeah. Converts ingredient into finished syringe. Increases combined value by 20%, increase strength of all effects by 50%. So, when it gets through to that point, we've got no side effects, so it just means that it's going to be treating diabetes very, very well. And I'm just going to press play. We have unlimited money on this one, but we do have like a daily profit and loss coming through. So we can sort of investigate how effective our lines are being as they're coming through. So we'll just let this run through. If I just speed that up a bit, go through a, a fair bit faster. These take three days. If you have a look, process time three. And it costs 100 each time. And then that one run through. And it'll come out the end. There we go. So we have a syringe. Current profit minus 91. Product name required. Not great. Uh, Diabeto E name. Right. So the profit is minus 91 because the syringe injector costing 100 a time is not actually as effective as we would hope. Um, let's just have a look. So it's minus 92 now. Now if we go to our company and start having a look at what we've got. This is already a cure rating of a C. Uh, we've administered 9. So that's going to go up. But it's still not going to be great. We, we, yeah, there we go. C plus is already going up. Uh, is it going to go any higher? Let's, let's just leave that running a minute. So, this isn't profitable. We can already tell the syringes aren't prof profitable. So, um, I'll just leave that playing. It doesn't matter. So, if we remove uh, cell, cell, and sell now so we want to have a look at the other makers what we've got we've got the syringe injector sachet fabricator converts ingredients into finished sachet increased combined value by 30 pounds for each positive effect in the drug and it costs 30 pounds to process so this one might be better um how am i going to fit three of these in here this is going to work out a little bit differently i'm going to just plonk that one down there a minute and remove all of these belts down here like this i'll leave that line there like that. Um, oh, we can go out in a minute. So, move. Let's put one there, and then we'll purchase another maker. One there, one there. Now, in theory, they should all just run straight down here. That one will run out there. That one goes straight in there like that. Goes across, and he goes in there. We remove those two, and that runs into there like that. And... We let it run through. So that's already running through there. It's just turning into sachets. That machine looks really cool. It's actually working really well. That runs back. And there we have our sachet. That's going to go out the door now instead of the syringes. Product name Product required. Product name required. Name. Right. What's this one going to be like? We now have a sachet going out the door. This one is minus 12 pounds, which is considerably better than the syringe one. So if we have a look up here. So the sachets are actually kind of worth it. 
Um, that one got to a C plus, and but it was minus 86, so it really wasn't worth it. We we didn't want to be doing that one, so that one we can uh, remove, not worry about. And we we'll go back and we'll have a look at our sachets right there. Now pouring out the door. Uh, if I speed this up, we can at least increase the rating a little bit. Increases by 30 pounds for each positive effect in the drug. So if we could combine another positive side effect into one of these drugs, I think it would work really well. Um, that's gone down to six pounds. I know what we could do. If I just pause for a moment. I know at the moment we're making a loss of 14 pounds a day, but what I want to do is if I hire five explorers, I mean, this is going to cost us. We're going to be taking a massive hit each day, and I hire five of those as well. That is going to start giving us some um, points that we can spend on our research and all the rest of it. So let's uh, play right. Yeah, see, here goes our money. That's really dropping down now. Minus 300. Minus 400. But in a minute, we'll get some points to spend on our company. So it's going to increase things a bit. So let's go and have a look at the... Not the research. I want to look here. This one is now a C+. Plus. It's just minus 6. That'll increase a bit. So I want to see if we can make money out of the diabetes thing. This increases it by 30, and it costs 30 each day to make it. So we're getting some research points. And if we have a look at the other makers, uh, the Crema increased combined value by 30 pounds, reduces strength of negative effect by 50%. That one, we only need to buy one. Uh, process time of one and then the pill printer we already know increase combined value by 20 and it costs 20 to do each time so it kind of neutralizes the cost of it with these three this one costs more to use so a syringe injector is not one of the best ones to get and this is now minus one pound so it's, it's increased again doing quite well we've got some extra research points here so if I put these in uh, what are we using? We're using the sachet maker. So if I upgrade that one, it's going to make it cheaper to use. I'll put two points into that one. That'll upgrade that one. And then we'll go head over to the ingredients. And which one are we? We're bringing in this one. So if we upgrade this one as much as we can there, that's reduced the cost of it. It's down to £34 a time. So now if we go back to our production and we have a look at this, we're making £10 profit each day on this particular drug. Just this one on its own. Which is a really good start. So let's uh, just go back to normal speed so that we're not going crazy here. And we'll try and replicate this line, I think, somewhere. Where can we do it? I'll I, I tell you what. Let's just open up these like this. And we'll see if we can replicate that line coming in there. I realize it's going to be um, probably not so cost effective. Let's have a look at the cures in a minute. Because this one, it treats diabetes, but then we can upgrade it here. We need a four-point catalyst. Upgrade again for a five-point catalyst. And then finally, we upgrade again with a six-point catalyst, which uses a Hadron Collider, which becomes a cancer vaccine. So I think we're going to try and work through this, because this uses like lots of um, extra different machines and that that we haven't really touched on before. Uh, the other research that we've got down here, we've got outsourcing... Take advantage of cheap labor to reduce salary costs. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, research project, time and money, forging close connections in the industry. Yeah, so we, we, we've got everything unlocked that we need to unlock. We don't need to worry about it. It's just kind of extra things that you do in-game um, when you're up against competitors. So we don't need to worry our little heads about that. But we can upgrade a few things purely because that would be a bit more realistic. It's, it's what we would do while we were actually playing the game. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just pause for a moment and we're going to remove all of this. I'm going to remove the whole lot. Sell, sell, sell. Rather than replicating the line, what I'm going to do is I take those. Will that send those out the door or not? No, it doesn't. Not while they're not connected to a machine. It doesn't work. Right, so let's just get rid of those. That's all gone. And we're going to start upgrading our drug, and we're going to work through everything that we got for doing the upgrades. Uh, first of all, that needs to be 10 to 12. So we just come straight in here with this one, 10 to 12. So we're also going to remove this one. Sell and sell. So remove the belt there, there, and there, and there. So we've got one belt here. 
We'll even remove that one in a minute, but we won't do it just yet. So uh, we want to get that up to, it's at 8, and we want to go 10 to 12, so we want to increase by 3. So first thing that we're going to do is run it through an agglomerator to increase by 3. That one will go there. We'll sort of try and run it around. Which way do we want to go? Are we going to have enough room to do everything in here? I don't know if we will or not. Let's just buy the entire factory floor. And before I do any more, I'm going to move this over here. Put that there. And then I'm going to import that one here. Import. Over that side. And I'm going to get rid of that. Stop. Right. So we'll start right over at this end. A belt coming out of there and into there. And let's just press play and we can sort of follow it as we go through. So first of all, it's going to go through there. Then it needs to go through an ionizer to do the next part. I mean, you're probably all familiar with this by now. We've um, done this a few times. So let's drop down an ionizer so that it will run through that bit. That comes up through there. And we can take a belt straight out at the end. This one. There we go. Right, that's going through. And we've now got the cure hyperthyroidism. That's the next one. That's going to be right there. This one. Quarerine, qu qu quarerine liquid? I don't know. Quarerine. Quarerine. <laughs> okay, that's a very, that's a bit of a bizarre name. We need a four-point catalyst, so we've got to bring in another drug. We need a four-point catalyst, and then we've got to reduce the concentration down between one and two, and currently it is eight. So we want to go down uh, six. So if we drop it six points and then we bring in a new drug to go with it, it will mix in. Uh, first of all, let's do the six. How can we do this? So I want to bring the next drug in there. I can do that easy enough. So uh, advance, no, basic, dissolver, decrease, ionizer, decrease. So I want to do the ionizer. If I put one there and I do another one right there like that. That's going to drop it down by six. I can delete that belt there. I can put that one there and I can put that one there. So then I want to bring in a four point catalyst from here. I got, what have I got? I got a four point cataly catalyst there. I got another one here. Prompts hallucinations. Prompts fits. There's some nasty stuff in here really, isn't there? Uh, so I think we've got well, we've got one there, and we've got one there. This has got one missing, which is actually probably end up being better. So let's bring this one in. Right. I need to combine that one, and what do I get coming out of here? I need to just put the belt out so that I can see what I got. There it is. That's at the top, and I need... That one, that is second from the bottom. So that's got to go through, first of all, a shaker. Oh, hang on. No, what about the centrifuge? Does that work? That's right at the top, and then that one is second from the bottom. So that's not really going to work, is it? Or is it? We've never used the centrifuge. This takes three days to process. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. Oh, hang on. Let's just move that one back one. Put that one there. And then we put a belt run around there, and I put a belt there. Let me just uh, pause this a second. And click on here now. So, oh, choose effects to swap. How do you choose it? Really? Hold on a moment. This, ooh, what have we got here? Hang on. Let's just press play and see what happens. Because... I think we can basically, we can pick which effects that we want to keep and which ones we want to toss aside. Yes. Those two will stay together and then we have those. So that's now upgraded and we've got to add the four point catalyst. That will come out. That's perfect. So this one we just need to ditch and then we want one to come out of there. So how do we do that, I wonder? Let me put a belt there and a belt there, and we'll see what comes out. Is anything going to come out? Okay. What's it doing? Well, that's what I want. I want that to come out, so bring it out. Choose effects to swap. What am I doing here? 
No, I don't want to do that. That is the hypothyroidism, and that treats diabetes. Oh no, I don't want hypothyroid. Or do I? I can't remember what I was after now. Yeah, Thi hypothyroidism. And then I want that one, and I want them to be combined. So why aren't they combining? Choose effects to swap. Oh, that's because I paused it. That's why, it's because I paused it. So we'll, we'll, um, we'll press play, and then is it going to come out? Go on. You can do it. There we go. Right. Uh, now what do we got? So this one here treats diabetes and increases blood pressure. So we could just do a treats diabetes and send that out the door. And then this one here cures hypothyroidism and it's got that one. So now we've got the right concentrations and everything. And we need to run that through a chromatograph. This one is a process time of three. So what I'm actually going to do, at least that's what I thought I was going to do. I was thinking I'd be really clever and put three of them in a line. But I don't know if I've got room for that in this particular factory. I might have to change the room I'm in. Uh, centrifuge. Can I do it again? No, because if I do that, I'm not going to have anything coming out, am I? So, I could try and do that. No. I've got room here. Or oh, actually, I could do it over here. I could do it over here. If I put that one there, and then I put another one there, maybe. Let's have a look. I'm sure I can do this. So I want to keep one and the other one I want to go out the door. So that goes in there. I need a belt to run down here. It's got to go across. It's got to go that way. Go in there. And then that's got to go in there. The third one. So then this belt here. That's got to run down here. That's got to go the other way, uh, right round into there, and on into that one. But then I've got two, no, I, I can't get rid of those. I haven't got enough room here. Okay, I'm not clever enough for this. Just, let's just stop a minute. What, what, how are we going to do this? Uh, right, I don't think we can do it there. I think we need like a big square one. I don't think this long one is going to work, unless I can put I'm trying to be really clever. Oh, actually, maybe we can do this, but if I don't have so many belts coming in, if I remove those belts, and that can go there, I don't need to have all of this belt here, do I? Remove all of that. And I don't need to have all of this belt either. All of that is dead. Deadline, that can run into there. Oh, no, of course, I need to, I've got to have that one running around, haven't I? Of course I do. Right, that's got to go back. So I need to have one belt that runs around the edge like this. And then I want to bring... Invalid position. Right, I've got to bring in... Which one was it? Prompts hallucinations. Uh, Tom's... No, it wasn't that one. This one. This is the one I wanted. There, import. Right, I bring that one in there. If I can drum, uh, put a belt across there like that, and then do the same here. No, that's got to go up. I want to bring it out there. And that's got to go there. Uh, what happens if I just have one belt coming out of the centrifuge? Let's just press play. Does it... No, you, you've got to be able to remove both ingredients, haven't you? Or does it just stop? No, it doesn't just stop. You've got to be able to get... You've got to be able to remove both of the ingredients. And I can't do that in this setup. Right. That's not good. Well, how am I supposed to do this? I haven't got enough space there. I suppose I could sort of do one in the corner. Um, but again, I don't have enough space because I've got to bring two lines out that I need to dispatch of. i got no way. How can you... Is there something that will just absorb them and get rid of them for you? I don't think so. Right. I mean, the centrifuge seemed like a really good idea. But at the same time, I'm not convinced. Right, let's... Ooh, how about this one? Right. Uh, in order to get that one, I think I need to do it like this. 
That costs an absolute fortune, but we can have a great big room over here. So let's have this great big room over here. We'll leave, we'll leave those. They don't matter. And we'll try this again. So uh, we want to bring in over here. Not that one. Which one was it? No, no, no. Uh, no, and no, no. Was it treats? No, it wasn't that one. No. That one. There. Import. Right. So, first of all, I needed two of the basic machines. I needed uh, decreased concentration. So, I wanted two ionizers. I want one there, and I want one there. Um, run that into there. Run that into there. And from here, what do we have then? Two ionizers. Oh, no, and I need an agglomerator first, didn't I? So it's increase it. Yeah, so I need to just... Where did I go? Where did I go? There we go. Uh, an agglomerator first, and then the ionizers. So, um... Just sell those a moment. Move. And the agglomerator. Put that in there. Move. There. Put that one round to there, and then move you to here. Like that. And that is what is going to bring out our next bit, so that we can then... Yeah, that upgrades for the ionizer. And then we want to reduce it down to 1 to 2, don't we? So this one is 5. I need another ionizer, don't I? Uh, 1, 2, 3 ionizers. Let's get the next one. Cures hyperthyroidism. Upgrade to fight cancer. One to two. That one is diabetes. Yes. And yes. Right. So I need the next one is the ionizer. I will put that one in there. And we run the belts through those. So uh, we've, we, we want to try and use that um, little spinning top. And this one comes through here. So now we have the right concentration and then we wanted to add the two point the four point catalyst so i'll bring that one in here and that one was this one here the multicolored ferricyanide essence uh import and i think i'm running out of time so i'm gonna have to come back to this next time uh no it wasn't those it was your auxiliary it was a centrifuge right so now i'm gonna try and put three of these in succession and I'm gonna do that gotta spread them apart a bit like that okay so that drug there is gonna run like that and we'll move it right up to the end and in round there so then this one will come off of that belt there and then this one will come off of that belt there so then next I need to bring this one in here. It's got to run up and across and into that one. And finally it's got to run up and across and into that one. And we'll see if it's going to work. Then I've got three centrifuges working. Am I getting the right drug out of it? First of all, I'll put a belt off the top in case I need to change anything. So I'm getting Cures Hypothyroidism and I'm getting the Prompts Fits. It comes out at a concentration of 6, so that tells me that I don't actually need to worry about reducing the concentration first. And, excuse me, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to carry on with this next time. We've got a whole load of extra machines that I want to try and bring into this, just so I can show you the final ones. And I believe tomorrow is uh, going to, or well, next time, is going to be my final episode for Big Pharma. I'm going to start a new game after that. I'm not sure what it will be yet, but we'll uh, we'll get to that. Anyway, um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and you're learning something new. I know I am. Goodbye. This is, well, say goodbye. This is Frithgar. <laughs> Excuse me. Goodbye and see you later.